Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I've got a pretty cool one for you guys. We're going to be reviewing the PS618 Solar Charger Power Bank. And this thing has a ton of tricks up its sleeve. You guys are gonna wanna stick around and see all that this has to offer. So first of all, thank you and shout out to them for sending this out free for review. Let's take a look at the box. So here is what it looks like. Uh, it's good for traveling, camping, hiking, hiking, and beaches. So there's two hikings right there. I think that should be fishing, uh, but this can be used for pretty much anything. I mean, in this climate right now with the way everything's going, having some extra battery uh, is not a bad idea simply for the fact that, you know, anything could happen with the grid and having one of these could potentially save your life. I mean, depending on the situation, it's got two output ports, hand crank, IP65 waterproof, type C slash micro or solar charging coming with three charging cables, LED lights with three modes, steady SOS and strobe. Looks like this may have been a return from Amazon. Uh, I know LPN RR stickers are return, but anyways, that's Amazon's fault. It has nothing to do with this company. Let's go ahead and pull this out. It's all sealed up, so no issues there. All right, let's see what we've got. Solar powered recharge, it's got a crank, it's got solar. This looks like it's got just about everything. Wow, this thing is kind of chunky. Nothing else in the box, we can set that off to the side. Let's see what it comes with. It comes with a little lanyard piece here, as well as a USB-A to USB-C cable, I guess to charge it up. You can see it's already solar charging just from these studio lights. Uh, that light kind of lets you know, you can see. Look at how thick this is, I mean, <laughs> this thing is a chungus right here, it's huge. Let's see, what was the rated capacity on this? I wanna say the claimed capacity is 63,200 milliamp hours. I don't think that's the rated capacity. Uh, it's probably a little less than that, probably like 40,000, but let me take a look at this manual here, holy. So the output power is 10 watts max. The solar charging is 5.5 volts. Uh, charging time is about 12 hours. It's strange, I'm not seeing the watt hours uh, anywhere. So I don't really fully know what the true rated watt hours would be for this, but they're claiming 63,000 milliamp hours. So that's quite a bit. Uh, this is kind of insane. It's got four LEDs right here. Let's go ahead and just, first of all, let's test out the crank. Let's just see if it charges up. So very easy to crank and it is actually charging. So that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back. We also have these cables. This comes with these extra, you know, little connectors. If I want to charge something with USB-C and I didn't have a USB-C cable, I would just use this pop this right open, stick it right into one of these output ports. So you got out one and out two. So if I want it on output one, I would just stick it right in there and grab the iPhone and plug it right in. And boom, it is charging up just like that. Just make sure you push that in all the way. But yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, this comes with all the cables that you might need. So USB-C working perfectly. Uh, what else do we got? We've got micro USB and we also have a lightning cable, which is most likely not MFI certified, but hey, if you're in a pinch, I don't think it really matters. So you just plug these in uh, and you can keep them on you at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back here. Let's see how hard that is. Now let's go ahead and try out. So we got the power button here. Let's press and hold. Does it turn on? There we go. So now we got light. Press it again. That's SOS. And press it again. We have a strobe. And press it again. We just have solid. So that is really bright. So if you are, you know, in need of some very bright light, this four LEDs right here, and they seem to work quite well. So I'm gonna press and hold, turn that off. So we got output one, output two, those are both USB-A. We also have type C right there and micro. So this can be closed up at any time. If it starts raining or something, you don't want it to splash. Uh, and then this right here can be used to solar charge the device. So yeah, with two of these output ports at the same time, you can charge up two different devices. Again, this is a very big capacity uh, battery if the 63,000 is true. At least on their website, it looks like you can charge the iPhone 11 which is really old. I don't know why they're showing that one, but it says eight charges, six charges for the Galaxy S10. Again, that's super old. Two and a half iPad mini chargers. It might not be the fastest charge ever, but if you're in a pinch uh, and you just need something that can hold a lot of juice, this might be something to check out. Anyways, guys, if you're looking for a nice big chungus of a battery pack, the hand crank as well as solar. So, you know, if there's no sun, you can always go ahead and do this, charge it up that way. Uh, that will work. And it comes with all the adapters you need and a flashlight. Check this one out, links to it down below. If you liked the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.